Hello there. Get me out! No, Fred! Go out, Hytham! Wait a second! Wait a second! Adorn my knights! Whoa! 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 Okay, hello YouTube, it is Code again, and today we'll be doing a little bit of Spyro Abyss using Al Hytham. As far as I'm concerned, this current Spyro Abyss is designed for Al Hytham to do bonus damage without the Abyss buff, debuff and stuff, but it should be fine, right? And I'm pretty sure this Abyss is really easy for Hytham. So currently, my Hytham is Constellation Zero, at a level 686. The weapon I'm running is Cyphos Moonlight, and then the artifact pieces. And here's the all stat. Then we have Kuki here with Gilded Dream set. Talent level doesn't matter. She's kind of turbo constellation. And the elemental mastery should jump up to 1300 if I fully stack the weapon. And then we have Sing Cho on Sacrificial Sword. I have no plus set on Sing Cho because I don't have a good emblem set on him. Sing Cho is a really old four star, so constellation is pretty easy to get by on him. Talent levels, we have talent level 1, 12, 12. And here's the all stat. And then we we are also running Keking, which uh, has really high attack percentage, 2,500. Giga Whale Misplitter Reforge, double attack set. I kind of yoink my Yai Miko set and slap it on Kaching. Constellation, obviously, Kaching is the gloriously losing all 50-50s. And the level is 9-12-12 only. I'm not sure why I don't triple crown her. I just felt like, I just didn't felt like crowning her. Crown her one day. I kind of want to see like roughly how much damage I will do first before doing the spiral abyss though. No, my sword. Stand with me. One, two, three. Back that up. The process of elimination. I think the combo was one, two, three, charge attack, and then E, and then one, two, three, charge attack. That's a lot of damage, right? That's good. It's time for Spyro Abyss. Okay, so as I said before, this current Abyss is really good for Dendro, right? And when the active character deals consecutive, uh, consecutive, I can't read, consecutive instance of elemental damage of the same element using normal charge of thunder attack, elemental skill and elemental burst, they'll gain one stack every one second. At five stack, one shockwave will be unleashed dealing true damage. I see, okay. All right, so, uh, I'll fight second half here. I mean, we're probably not gonna have like every floor in the video, but that should be fine, right? Because then Kuki, Sing Cho and uh, Keking, you know? I feel like I might need Keking randomly. And for Team 1, we run Kazuha Bennett. Kuki Showcase, it's always the Kuki Showcase. No, my sword. Huh? Our bond is strong. <laughs> so swapping away from Al Haitham kind of ruins a lot of stuff for me. Uh, that's a lot of... Okay. I feel like that's kind of bad, maybe. Let's light it up. Oh, that's fine. Into the wind. I don't know what Kaching purpose is there. Kaching purpose there is to carry. Uh, you want me to like uh, use Keking? Let me leave you a place. Stand with me. I need, I need to like uh, think Cho slightly, right? Here you are. A process of elimination. Rain cutter. Body and pet. Can I hit both? No. no, I can't. With sword comes shadow. Oh, Keking's purpose is here. This is Keking's purpose. This is Keking's purpose. <laughs> Dendro can't break that. Keking carry. Electro Alhaito. Electro Alhaito. Dude, like, if we're talking about, like, the most easiest duo to play in Genshin, it has to be Kazuha Bennett. It's so easy to play that, that duo. It's actually unfair. Hello there. Get me out! Here you are. Get me out! Cut to the chase. Huh? Don't blink. This was well done. Nope. 
Wait, wait, there's more? I thought that was the last enemy. Huh? Wait, I swapped to the wrong one. The main character today is Al Hyder. I swapped to the wrong Kaching. Come. No. Come. That coming. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Why aren't they flying to me? Adorn my knights. Fuck, fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, hold up, hold up. <laughs> my cows do help far. I'm going in. Adventure time. What about the other guy? Are you gonna fall down? Are you gonna just sit up there? Okay. Okay, man. One with nature. Oh my, please! Off we go. Why are they so tanky? Mm, okay, I will run it on the first half, I think. And for the second team, I will run Ula, Raiden, Yai, Miko, and Diano. 80% danger resistant chicken. That's why I have two Keqing on my team. It's all planned. That's why I have two Keqing. Okay. This one. No, my sword. The process of elimination. I I, I, I didn't ult with Sing Chou. Well, it's time for the other Keqing. Here you are. Ooh, Kekin! Surely your Yaimiko's build right? Oh! Yaimiko has no artifact. I mean, I guess she does have artifacts, just not the correct artifact. I condemn you! Okay, what is this? This is Robo Half. Robo Half should be easy. I feel like I, I've never struggled on the Robo Half before. Can I ult with Sing Cho, please? I guess I'm running like only 160 ER Sing Cho. No, my sword! Flicker. I forgot to, ah, uh, I, man, I keep forgetting to, the old would sing Cho, and now my, my Alhaitam is on cooldown. It's fine, I got the other color. You can bully me, can't Vengeance will be mine. No! Man, it, it, did, it didn't do the correct attack. It didn't fall down, man. There is no escape. Right now. All right, I swear to God, this thing has to do the attack where it falls down the ground. Please, Jeffrey. I beg. Look at you, Boo-Town. Bye, have a great time. No! Please! No! Maybe I'm doing too much damage. Maybe I am hitting too hard. Here it comes! No crit! I have 85! Wait, 85 plus 15, 98% crit rate! What do you mean? That's literally 98! Okay, I swear to god. Bro, it's literally one crit! One crit! Blood of Frost! I condemn you. Inazuma shines eternal. You know what? Whatever. Yula will not crit. I get it. I get it. Yula doesn't crit. You know, 98% crit, right? Nah. nah you no, know, you will crit. You will not crit twice in a row. It. Li you know what? Whatever. Fine. It's fine. Wait, this chicken has 80% dendro resistance. Alright, time to change to a different color. Out of my way! Quicker. The process of elimination. Go, Al Haitham! Wait a second! Wait a second! <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> oh, I realize my entire team is almost dead. Heal! 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 I hate the doggles! Everyone is red health bar. Think you can bully me? Can't handle your drink yet. It's fine! Now you shall perish! 
<laughs> it's mine. God damn it, I hate the doggles. Diano, no. Bro, listen, Diano doesn't heal all teammates. She only heals the teammate that's active, so she died there. Dude, like, I swear to God, the f double doggle of this is just there to advertise Coco Me. Like, it's literally just there for Coco Me. Yeah, Yao Yao can heal all her teammates, so Yao Yao probably be useful there. You don't need much crit damage on him? Bro! <laughs> My weapon is Elemental Mastery main stat. I swear to God, my crit rate and crit damage is high. This is high stat. Get his unique weapon? Yeah, okay. If I get his signature weapon, I'll be at 89 crit rate and like 230 crit damage, right? I'm not gonna get his signature weapon. This is enough. I'm free to play now. Almost. Okay, that's Keking and Alhaitam gameplay. I mean, Keking and then green Keking gameplay. I think he's pretty decent. I'm not even running like a proper team comp. Ideally, you run like Nahida or something here. So it's more Alhaitam damage. I'm running Keking just because it's fun, right? I'm not sure how much damage contribution a sacrificial no blessing show is in that team comp. I do know that, you know, maybe my cookie is kind of turbo contribute sometimes too much, but um, I think Altaira Haito is pretty decent character. And I have heard that Yao Yao makes Candace viable. So I finally have a reason to play my triple crown Candace. But then I realize uh, I have Hello. to level up Nilo. You know what? Maybe I will. I'll try. But that is it. Yeah, that's it for this little Abyss video showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time.